Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerdin here once again and in today's video I'm going to be explaining the ending for Revolution of the Daleks that did prove a lot of us right about certain plot elements that was pretty interesting, there was a few surprises here and there and that the fact that Jodie Whittaker's Doctor was freed from prison very early on in the episode was a nice twist, we all assumed that Jack was going to break her out later on but yeah, Captain Jack was the one that broke her out earlier on in the episode, but it meant that we got some time, you know, with the TARDIS team before they all left. But anyway, let's explain the ending. Now, during the course of the episode, the human-made Daleks do indeed turn evil um, due to the um, scientist Leo trying to replicate the mutant DNA from the reconnaissance scout Dalek in, well, from the episode Resolution. And that leads to very bad situation where the newly cloned mutant possesses Leo and they start to clone more Dalek mutants that using infrared violet lights they are able to transport themselves into these new Dalek uh, drones and essentially weaponize them ready to start murdering civilians and there is a lot of innocent lives taken during the Dalek invasion and the Doctor is left with no choice but to use the old message that the reconnaissance scout Dalek from Resolution wanted to use and that was essentially to, um, well, summon the Death Squad Dalek platoon and oh boy we saw a lot of bronze Daleks come to Earth in order to wipe out the impurity of these new Daleks and the Death Squad Daleks well, they had a lot to say about the impurity of these Daleks, and they even exterminated the original Reconnaissance Scout Dalek as well, that I thought was a pretty good twist, but at the end of the day, the Daleks overall are obsessed with purity, and the fact that they had human DNA, the OG Daleks were not impressed. So, oh boy. So, essentially, the new Dalek threat is wiped out by the OG Daleks, and then obviously the OG Dalek threat with the mothership arriving on Earth, the Dalek saucer, and Captain Jack, Ryan and Graham have to go into that ship and plant some bombs, similar to the cyber ship in uh, The Timeless Children, and wipe out the OG Daleks. But they learn from the uh, very popular character Jack Robertson that there is indeed the Doctor is involved with sending the message and basically setting them up on Earth and obviously these Daleks are now after the Doctor so that causes a problem but luckily the Doctor has a plan and that is by using the spare TARDIS that was used to send the companions back home from Gallifrey in the Timeless Children they were able to essentially set up this TARDIS so it could fall back on itself after trapping the Daleks inside and yeah they were kind of sent to the void and destroyed basically very good rhyme but yeah, the Daleks have been wiped out again, or well, at least this Dalek squadron, and obviously the new Daleks no longer exist. And it does kind of leave the door open to the Daleks returning at some point as well, because let's be honest, we haven't had any confirmation that all of the Daleks went into that TARDIS. There was a lot of them that went in, but not all, so it could happen that we see more Daleks show up in the future. But anyway, let's get back onto the actual ending because obviously um, Jack Robertson is now being set up to become the US president that I thought was going to happen in this episode, but it looks like he might be a bigger threat to the Doctor in the um, future, maybe in the next Best of Special or later on in Series 13. It does look like we could be seeing more of him. And then we did get a little Easter egg for Gwen Cooper. That was pretty nice. Um, you know, it was it was good to hear a Torchwood reference. And perhaps if Jack's staying on Earth, we could possibly be getting a Torchwood revival. And uh, Gwen Cooper, as well as reference, with also having a son as well. So there's a lot of things that could happen. It could be setting the seed for a spin-off return. We don't know yet. But um, uh, so now to wrap up the actual ending of the episode. And that is Ryan and Graham have officially left the show. Now, there was no death, nothing like that. It was a peaceful end to their character arcs. And Ryan's still going to be learning how to ride the bike that uh, is obviously paying homage to the beginning of their 
time on the show in The Woman That Felt Worth due to Ryan's dyspraxia. He was unable to ride a bike and he was on that hill in Yorkshire with uh, Graham and his uh, gran, Grace. And Grace does have a little cameo that I thought was pretty sweet. But yeah, they've officially left the TARDIS team. They've enjoyed their time on Earth, essentially, um, from the 10 months in between the Series 12 finale and Revolution of the Daleks. And yeah, they're ready to move on with their lives and spend more time on Earth. And obviously, Graham doesn't want to leave Ryan by himself. But the door is left open for them to return. And it was very nice to see them kind of get, uh, get a little set up for a spin-off. I don't know if it will be that though, it's just like an open end for them, that they could be potentially having some fun, uh, you know, and just like continue fighting monsters whilst also being on Earth. But yeah, personally, I thought it was a pretty uh, sweet moment and a nice ending towards their character arcs. And it does leave the door open for their return, maybe in the next series or something like that. But yeah, we do now have um, the 13th Doctor and Yaz in the TARDIS by themselves. So it looks like that is going to be the dynamic for the new series up until obviously we are introduced to the character Dan, who is going to be played by John Bishop, who is going to be joining the TARDIS team during series 13. So pretty exciting stuff, and I am excited to see how that all pans out. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning into this video. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, rate, and subscribe for more nerdy content, and I will see you all on my next video. Goodbye for now.